Today, we're going to do question 232. Let's get started. What qualities does a good student have to have? So, what are the good characteristics or what are the things that good students do? So, these could be things that you see in yourself because, of course, you're a good student or that you see in other students in your classroom. So, let's take a look at our sample answer to see how they answered. Every good student should take responsibility for himself as well as have good imagination. Now, in the introduction to this, it has in the sentence the two qualities that they believe are every student should have, every good student should have. So it's not an agree or disagree question. So it's okay to put both of your ideas in the first sentence. Firstly, many students think that it is solely the teacher's responsibility to help them succeed. So the word solely means they alone, only them. It is only the teacher who must make the student succeed. However, this is not the case. A student needs to be responsible for his own academic career. This includes asking for help when it is needed, completing all assigned tasks, and studying the material given to him. So this sentence is giving examples of what they mean by being responsible for yourself as a student. So sometimes an example doesn't have to be a whole long story. It can be kind of these bullet points in one sentence. A student needs to be an active participant in his own education. He cannot depend on others to make him academically successful. Okay, so he alone can find his success in school. It's his responsibility, not the teacher's. All right, next part. Additionally, a good student needs a good imagination. I believe imagination and creativity are often overlooked in today's modern education system. So, being creative, thinking outside the box, not normal what everyone else is thinking, can be very beneficial to a student. Imagination allows students to ask questions that will further their understanding of the material. It also gives them an advantage by allowing them to think outside of the box and come up with new approaches to solving seemingly difficult problems. Without an imagination, a student will miss out on many academic opportunities. So, by being creative, you don't think just one way, like every student. You start seeing the ways that you can branch and different ways your education can go. So this will help you to be a very good student. Therefore, I think that taking responsibility for one's learning as well as having an imagination are qualities every student should possess. So for their conclusion, they put back in the two, their two ideas, their two qualities about a good student, and they kind of flipped it. So in the first one, they said every good student needs a, B. This one, they did A, B makes a good student. Okay, it's just another little way that you can change around your sentence and make your introduction and conclusion interesting. So maybe you're wondering, what are these good qualities, teacher? What could be a quality I could write about? Well, you can choose different ones than what's in this. What else makes a good student? They can focus for a long time. They work really hard. They're very curious and looking for other things. They are reading other materials, not just in the classroom, but going to the library. There's many, many, many qualities that make a good student. So think about it. Find your two favorite qualities and Create a nice response for me, guys. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Goodbye.